1787, a black Negro male and female keeps um like a frequency, keeps speaking out okay. as I walk. And then, like I said before, when this happens, usually a pale skinned male would try to walk behind me close in Annapolis, Maryland with the United States military and Navy. I just got off work. I'm Rhonda Arrington Day from Whole Foods. And black Negro accents, African-American, male and female. Um, before they used to say military, police, and then brother paid a lot. That's, that's it. They still say brother, but don't say paid. They just say he paid or I paid. And then it's um, Spanish speaking accent in Annapolis, Maryland, where the United States military and Navy is, he's walking, this pale skinned guy, he's walking like he's intoxicated, like he, like an actor is um, pretending to be intoxicated. Even there's a wet mark on the back of his pants. So when you're trying to stage a crime or um, create some form of a crime, you use different types of hosts. In Annapolis, Maryland, with the United States military, Navy, and Army, and police so prevalent, and with them being so close, in reference to some of the testimonies I have given in reference to black males predominantly behaving odd and aggressive. And then the humanoid robots, like um, like some type of accent or frequency that's not human, um, messing with, and when I say frequency or accent, it's usually African-American predominantly, not saying all, and those that speak in a Spanish accent them that um, messes with the tablet something happens with my tablet or some type of electronic device whether it behaves odd in the room or Imani might start making noises in his sleep and so the brother or the black negro that keeps saying brother i notice a lot of them start to say your son years back as like in a threatening manner after one of them would try to engage forcefully and then the pill skin remember they also say the word three or the, the number three and imply and say word like mason or 30 or do things in a 33 sequence here in annapolis i've seen the united states military um license plates on a car this particular truck was an army, and he was a pale skin, it looked to be, but up under the license plate, he had a Freemason sign. So he, it said Army Veteran, and then up under the license plate, he had a Freemason sign. Here in Annapolis, I was so surprised, because how can you put a Freemason sign on your truck and have a license or a car, a license plate representing United States government. And were you supposed to be lawful? So if you are a Freemason or you, you call yourself a Freemason or you in some type of a cult or some type of form of satanic um, worship, and you're trying to collaborate to commit crime, you have a collaboration of people that will do it just because the fact they have been initiated in some form, whether it's homosexual behavior. A lot of them, I remember um, through the years hearing how they like to have sex with one another, men and females or males and females to initiate. They could be married, doesn't matter. Or they, um, recent, when I came to Annapolis, this is when I started to um, hear more about child trafficking. And then seeing 
how aggressive the males and females were here, predominantly were African Americans, blacks. And I didn't know how many were connected to the United States military, Navy and Army, and the police. I didn't know Annapolis was a military city when I got here. But if I did know, it would not have stopped me because I am a Moor, naturalized Moor. And so we are taught to respect the United States Navy Army because they're supposed to be protectorates, not terrorists. So if anything, with the United States Navy and Army in a city, that should be the most safest city you should be able to be in, especially a small city like Annapolis. A newcomer should be able to come there. And if there's a technology where um, unnatural laboratory experiments that are blacks, males, and females, or Spanish speaking from South Central America, Mexico, wherever, pale skin can enter your room without you knowing or your dreams. It should not be happening in a city where the military that's supposed to be protectorates here. There will be, there should not be no thought or suspicion that there's sex trafficking or some form of theft going on especially if there's a technology of humanoid robots or AI, humanoid AI, that can transfer money. The last thing you would want is to think that a city with the United States Navy and Army and other military branches, the Air Force and other military branches, police, would be involved in such things. And if and if I was a criminal and I was involved in such things, I would not come to a city where the military is prevalent, where, especially if I know that the United States, if that military branch or that the military forces uphold natural law, the, con the organic constitution, there is no way they will come unless the United States Navy, Army, of the military branches, and police are involved. So, um, Imani and I, we don't do drugs. I don't have a criminal background. Imani doesn't have a criminal background. We work. But I've had to call the police more than three, four times because of, of criminal activities. And it's all dealing with forced engagements of some form of, you could say, sexual harassment. So it is now August the 17th, 2024. I'm walking back from Whole Foods. I'm still here at Admiral Suites for about three weeks. The pale skin guy kept um, following and stopping. And like I said before, after black Negroes, predominantly African Americans, male and female, because a lot of them are connected to the army here, which I didn't know. I, like I said, I didn't even know Phyllis Husband, which is, a, I'm just bringing her name up just to demonstrate how I didn't know. And if I did know, it would, I would be like, okay, because I'm a more. And we suppose, we, we have been taught and Plus, even before I, I knew I was a Moor, watching all these movies about the military and how they are protectorates and how we're not supposed to fear them, I would not have thought anything negative about the, the military being here, the Navy, the Army, and so forth. But we were taught that they have been naturalized and they're supposed to be defendants or protectorates of Americans or inhabitants on this landmass. If anything... And are they supposed to have bled or want to bleed to uphold natural law, freedom, organic constitution of the organic constitution of 1787. So I never thought to hear so many times black Negro accents, African-Americans say they paid, like as though they paid for someone. 
in a city like Annapolis. Never, ever. I would never even, I never even heard of African Americans saying such things until I came to Annapolis. When I came to Annapolis, I couldn't believe to hear what I was hearing, seeing what I was seeing, especially from the African American blacks. Because I was the once in that status myself, and I, most of my family, or not all, still are in that status. We, Monty Gray Bay and I, Ron Arrington Bay, are the first two to have been naturalized as truly of who we are, Moors, under laws of freedom. So to hear blacks and Negroes, first of all, following you, following you, and then the pale skin that's here looking, and, and then it's and then later realizing that some of them are actually collaborating to do such things and they saying Freemason three and they saying how they they keep saying I pay, brother pay, then then realizing that we are in Monte Gray Bay and I run there and bay are among not humans, some type of lab experiment, some type of lab some type of labs, we don't know what they are. So if the blacks, not all, but definitely it exists, are is is there if there's a signal within them to behave like animals, and then there's a signal within the pale skins here too, okay? Because if they collaborating with the blacks, and and the blacks are behaving um, like animals, like they getting a, a signal then you know the pale skin here too especially if they all collaborate together and they up and they are trying to support a military branch that obviously there's something wrong something criminal is going on and the police and that's and that it goes with um those that um that not all but and some that speak spanish because there's a lot of immigrants here from africa south central america and mexico and that's another thought. If I'm an immigrant, why would I come to a city and demonstrate any form of criminal activity with the United States military here?